So just like anything, prep work is the most important thing. Like painting, prep work is the most important thing. Same thing with this. You don't want any contaminants underneath because those are going to show through. Plus, if there's something underneath the film, it's going to start lifting that. And over time, it's going to turn like a bubble and it's going to look ugly. So. So it doesn't really matter what car you have, it's a good idea to protect the paint. And that's why I take my cars to Sun Stoppers because they use the best material. The um, paint protection film is Expel and they use the best window tint as well and that comes from Expel, uh, in my opinion anyway. Yes, this is kind of like a commercial for them, but again, I promote companies that do really good work and I, that I recommend to other people. It doesn't matter what car you have, whether it's a Tesla, whether it's an Audi, whether it's a Mercedes, whether it's a McLaren or, or a Lamborghini, you should get the car paint protected. So this is the first part of the process for prepping is a good foam bath. I like this little detail brush. Um, this little guy kind of break free on a, some of the, the dirt that we may not be able to kind of get to on the surface. And this will kind of break it free. Again, this is super soft. Again, this car's super clean, but can never be too clean. And then of course, when it's fully PPF, we're gonna bring it back here to Sunstoppers to get ceramic coated. Uh, Alex, who detailed the car before, is going to put the ceramic coating on, and it's just gonna make this car shine and pop, along with that clear coat, it's, it's perfect. It is, this is probably the best step you should do with a brand new car, something that, this caliber. Protect the paint so there's no rock chips or any scratches or anything like that, and then ceramic coat it so it makes your life easier when you wash it. Basically when it rains, it pretty much washes the car because the water just shoots right off. Bird droppings, all that stuff is removed. Makes the car look that much better. The paint protection has to be done first and dry for a couple days before we come back here for the fusion. And I'm here with John. We're gonna walk over the car, make sure there's nothing wrong with the car. It shouldn't be, there's 600 miles on it, but make sure there's nothing wrong with it. My first time seeing it in person, and uh, yeah, it's awesome. So we're doing a full vehicle wrap uh, with the Expel Ultimate Plus. The cool thing about Expel is they've templated out these patterns for us. So if you don't know what clear bra is, or paint protection film is the technical name, uh, it's a clear urethane film that's applied to the surface of the vehicle and it protects against rock chips, against scratches. I can't wait to get on it. So we're gonna show you the process of what we do here. Uh, we're at the Lake Norman store uh, and we're gonna start with a vehicle prep. So all the cars that come in for paint protection film, uh, they get car washed and then we go over the entire surface, make sure it's smooth, free of contaminants uh, before we lay the film so that when we're done, it won't look like there's anything different so we're gonna we're gonna try and show you the process because when like i said when we're done here you won't know that there's anything on the car you'll have to get up really close to even tell so that's what we're gonna get going on today so what do you think is gonna be the hardest part on this car so as of right now um as we speak we're gonna go in and check the the templates because this car is so brand new um what mike told me mike burke told me is that they don't have the doors drawn yet so what that entails, if we had a template, there would be, we wouldn't have to remove these handles. You'd have um, the film kind of come lay around here. It's, it's kind of trimmed out. You'd have a slight gap kind of maybe hidden by the handle part. So without removing the handle, these are pretty, pretty straightforward, but we're gonna actually pop these handles off. And then, uh, so you don't, have a, you don't have a kind of a line around here and the film kind of just again it looks exactly like paint you really won't be able to tell so this will probably be the most um challenging part really is kind of just getting this in there nice and clean because this everything else is kind of straightforward on this car This is the Expel uh, Design Access Program, we call it DAP. We have everything, I'll pull up the bumper, the front bumper kit. The cool thing about it is if you don't know where they go, you, you can click this button here. You can actually see where they go. So between the layout view and the plot view, if you're like, okay, where's, where does this go? I'm just flipping back and forth. All drawn out here, even, even trimming out for the parking sensors here and the tow hook cover. We're gonna wrap every edge that we can 
And so this is telling us that we can wrap all the way around with just a simple click. So I'm kind of going to here. We'll do the wrap edge. And you're gonna see this orange line here, these orange lines that are outlined. They're gonna jump up. It's gonna tell us you've modified the pattern and watch what happens to them. They, they jump out. So you can wrap the edge and you don't see the yeah. edge. Yeah, oh, cool. so you can get right to the edge. So this, this is the benefit of Expel. Yeah, this is the benefit. It's gonna be hard to see it, but. Yeah, you'll, you'll, it, make, it, it slightly scores the material. Slightly. So there's a lot of steps before you can just throw something on the car. Yep. Yeah, so we don't cry during the process? Yes, this will be a lot of crying. <laughs> so how many years have you been doing PBF? Uh, since, I've been installing myself since 2010. So 11 years now. Wow. 11 years and learned a lot on the way. So that's a huge difference. Before on the other cars you saw us do, it was always the satin finish or the stealth finish. And you can see it go on the car and you can see it change. This is totally different. This is completely, well, we have to wrap the edge, but it's completely done and it doesn't look like there's anything there. Once it's wiped up and everything, it'll look like the factory paint, just glossier, which is really cool. So it's kind of hard to see it on, on film. the PPF back to the grind just getting out of work here but sometimes I feel like I do because I promote good companies and this is definitely a good company to promote there's tons of stores all over the place and uh, that's what I do good work with do it <laughs> wait not the sticky side do the actual other side <laughs> oh my goodness Oh, that hurt me. Okay. Yeah, there you go. So you get it to the point where it's it actually stops. And then you push in. And you actually hear. So I guess when you push in, I'm going to try and do this. By pushing yeah, in. Hold the door handle on then. Yeah, if you hold that. This will just release, okay, and then you can let it back. So that comes off like this, and then you kind of just pull over to the side. So I kind of released it from here, over, pull out, 
get to this point. Yeah, this looks different than the back. We just there was just two clips there. We wrap those together so they don't slide back there and put enough PPF there so it just stays in the hole. Stays in the hole, keeps it waterproofed. So we get water in there. Go into extremes. All that just to take the mirror off, just so we can get a smooth panel on one big bulk piece for the door. Remove the door handle and this. So, if anybody's wrapping a, a GT, go to those lengths. Plus, we removed the trim here so we can roll it right up. And a suggestion roll the windows down at this point. So John and Andrew are the ones that do the PPF here in, at the Lake Norman store at Sunstoppers in Charlotte area. And they do great work. In fact, while I was there, while my car was there, there was two guys that were flown in from, it wasn't even one of the Sunstopper stores, it was from a store uh, somewhere else that paid to have them trained by John and Andrew. It was kind of great for them to see you know, compare what they have at their stores versus how they do things at Sunstoppers. Uh, great to see the learning process. You know, you want to have your card worked on by someone that knows what they're doing. And, you know, uh, John's been doing PPF for a very long time, but when you are good enough to train people to do PPF, you know, place that's someone I want working on my car too. So if you're looking for PPF and you want it done, hit up the pros at Sunstoppers uh, in Lake Norman or any of the stores really. All of them are trained very well. They all do great work and they stand behind their work. So the reason we had to do this is there's no template for this back area here. So this is called bulking out. So he's laid this whole piece here, just like on the other side. And then going to have to push everything down and freehand, free cut everything here. Um, let me show you the other side here. So he was able to push everything down and you see kind of like vinyl. This is just set, uh, spanning over to the other side here. And he'll just run his blade along the side, cut the piece off, fold the piece under and uh, everything will look like there's nothing there. Clean. It'll look like you didn't even do anything. super clean we gotta bring it back for the ceramic coating still but looks amazing <laughs> 